So remember what happened last time because I can't figure it out either. Because this scenery is not making me mad at all. Just watch as the beautiful Robin eats a pile of seeds. Hmm. Is that a pile of seeds or one single gigantic seed? That's mind blown right there. <laughs> and it just ended. Why did you have to do that? Well, okay. nutritionally speaking, is there a difference? Probably not. No, probably not. Okay, I should probably introduce myself. This is Gamer of Glory. I have returned. Haley, Evan, say hi. Hey. Hey, yo. All right, last time we have... Well, it's been a while because, well, we had to work around Haley's schedule. Don't forget. Sorry. Eh, it's all right. It's all right. So, anyway, uh, we are here, burning from the heat, and we're back in Japan, because we still have to do a few things in Kamiki Village before we set out. Uh, first, you saw me feeding those birds, and now you see me getting these treasure chests by using Power Slash within the water. Are you supposed to know that? I don't know. That's, I know, I know it's a, a little obscure, but, eh, I guess that's how the game works, I guess? And apparently you were at it all day. Yeah, so here's what happens when you can... Here you can visit Mrs. Orange at night, and she'll give you carrot cake. Uh, che cherry cake, sorry. The American version is carrot cakes. <laughs> Why? So this is a reference to Street Fighter right here. You'll recognize it right away. Ah, the raging demon. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old Akuma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, I, I always laughed at that reference. So anyway, cherry cakes, it's delicious. It's basically what you expect. It's like red. It's like those Japanese red bean pastries. Did, did, did she pound the mochi with her feet or something, and that's why that was so violent? <laughs> it was so violent that we couldn't even see it. Uh, anyway, you saw that halo. That's how you know that there are items hidden in the night. And yeah, that's about it. And that's all we can do for Kamiki for now, so we head out. And are there honest, any other fun references like that? Um, there are a couple. I think there are a couple more nods. Mind the spoilers, gentlemen. Yeah. But that's what, well. That's why. That's why I didn't mention them yet. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Shinshu Fields. But well, you saw, you probably saw it before. But there's like, but half of the fields like petrified with red dark mist, whatever. Petrified with red darkness. Red darkness. Anyway, I anyway. There's a, there's an exclusive uh that soundtrack, I guess, when you list when you're in the cursed field. And it sounds so beautiful. I love this. I love this track. Anyway, uh... Okay, yes, Isun. Seriously, the guy talks too much. Then again, it, then again, it is... Then again, it is uh, Capcom's attempt for a Zelda game. <laughs> so... Zones. Oh no! It's the biggest cursed zone of them all! Yeah, basically halts your progression. So you have to, so you have to do something first in order to. Cause it's a video game. Yeah, it's a, fr well, it's a freaking video game. But then again, it does make some sort of sense because you're dealing with gods, and gods can to, influence the world. <laughs> you have to revive the tree. To... Okay. Yeah, you have to. Anyway, these are random encounters right over here. You encounter them, and you encounter enemies right here. Yeah. Um. For random encounters, you can just run up to the scroll. And also, if you hit those glowing marks right over there, yep. you can you can hit them, and then you can escape the battle. But that yeah. seems like a cop out. Yeah, you don't get money for it though. <laughs> so anyway, you can actually influence the enemies by like right over here. Mm -hmm. Example A, stop time, and then you can slash them. It's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty cool actually. Yeah. That is pretty. So neat. you so you can you can easily avoid everything if you need um, to. Um, yeah, but harder enemies will will be immune to your power slash. I was gonna say, is there some mechanism by which it fails? Kind of like how you can't run from trainer battles. Um, at some circumstances, yes. It's because you sometimes have to kill enemies in order to progress. Oh, and this is what happens when you go into the curse zone. I love I love the animation because it looks like the like scribbles of Chinese letters that says curse or be gone or stone or something like that. It's pretty cool. I like it. And the trees in the middle of all this? Yeah, the tree the trees always in the middle of all this. Hey baby, I'll grow my big wooden tree in your cursed zone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wow. sorry. I'm sorry. Here, just, here, just let me let me grow this tree branch for you. <laughs> so anyway, meet the nameless man. He'll become later for he'll become more important later for a stray bead. But that's about it. Mm. If the nameless man is his name, is he really strictly speaking nameless? So nameless is his first name, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But I also, I also like his dialogue because he al he also is he also acts like he hasn't been from society, so that's why he keeps saying man. So he's a gigantic hippie, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, he's a freaking hippie. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, anyway, Susano went through here as the nameless man per se, and now we go into Hana Valley. And Hana means, I think means flower, so... It's... Yeah, looks nothing like a flower. I was gonna say. God, times have changed. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, welcome to Hana Valley. Some chick named Hannah did all this. Yeah. Well, Hana means flower in Japanese, but sure. That much I do know. God, it's so, so did someone curse all the flowers away? Some, yeah, of course. <laughs> God, who can this monstrosity be? Alright. <laughs> anyway, uh, forced, forced encounter right here. This is just an animation because it just looks cool, I guess? Anyway, yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna show off all the forced encounters, but for like the encounters that I don't want to show off, uh, well, for example, random enemies out on the screen. I'm not going to show them off. Yeah. I mean, nobody likes to watch a whole ton of level grinding in a Let's Play. Yeah, that's true. Do you want to show- do, do you want me to show all the random encounters one day? Huh? Evan, seriously? Every single one of them. Yeah, every single want. one of them. Do an inverse speed run. Get a bunch of people together and see who can take the longest to finish a game. That's- we never done- we- no one has ever done that before. I can see why. Anyway, we cleared the enemies. Now, time to restore beauty! Or not. Well, that was what? underwhelming. <laughs> oh. Well, that was a thing. <laughs> Isun, I thought you knew everything! Well, he's just a little, tiny little green thing. Well, apparently he knows everything. Oh, yeah. well, me, well, compared to us, yes. Okay, so there is a stray bead hidden here that you can only find at night. It is right over here. It's very hidden, by the way. So if you can see that ring, or if you already know it's there, you can get it. It's the only stray bead in this place. We're at, like number four. What do you three? do? You what do you do with these again? Collect a hundred. You achieve. Uh, you achieve breaking the game. That's that's about as best as I can do. That's do you about know where as best they as I can do. Yeah, I know where they all are. Off the top of your head? Y yes. Wow. Y yes. Uh, yes, I do actually. I played this game three times. So I gotta ask, what's your headcanon take on Ami? Is Ami actually clueless and needs all of Isun's help as annoying as Isun is? Yeah. Or is is, is, is Ami just like so nah, fed but... up with Isun's shit that, you know, it's just like a man, I'm not even going to acknowledge you kind of a situation? Um... Like, you know, the silent, like, kind of like Chell from Portal, just like, man, you are ticking me off so much, I'm just not even gonna talk to you. Uh, it's like this, um, Ami is sh pretty damn sharp, like, probably one of the sharpest main, silent main characters I've ever met. Isun gets distracted hell a lot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. When Ami knows something, she... When Ami knows something, she knows what's going on. Anyway, first encounter right over here, because we haven't had enough of those already. Oh no! Anyway, I like this uh, new enemy right here. We have the yellow imp right about now. And he plays along with the music. I love that. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> That's um, an interesting character design. I know. Uh, yellow imps um, are yeah, freaking annoying. you the first character we saw in this game? Yes. Well, yeah, okay. The first character we, the first character we saw was a freaking lady who can... A freaking lady with showing her butt. But like with with trees and fruits Pretty and Japan. butts all being signs of fertility and motherhood and stuff, like I I can sort of understand that. Where the, the the this imp just looks like somebody draped a bed sheet over a bunch of isosceles triangles. <laughs> isosceles triangles. Mm -hmm. Oh, that poor thing. He never got equilateral ones. <laughs> Um, yeah, yellow imps, they're annoying because they hide in the ground a lot. And basically, to get their demon fang, you have to use Power Slash. Anyway, hi, Susano. How'd he get this far on his own? Yeah, Good seriously. question! <laughs> Hana Valley is no place for a mutt like you. Beyond this point lies my secret training ground. Is it like a McDonald's play place? It's the, it's the perfect place to hide. <clears throat> <laughs> I like how the music just stops. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it's basically 
Yeah, it might, you might consider that a play place. Because you just hide there. Huh? If you tackle him, he'll try to strike back. It doesn't damage you, it just makes you whine a little. Is it possible to kill him? No, it's not. Aww. Check out that wall painting. Because you're going to be seeing that for like three times. Because it describes an quote-unquote elaborate process. Although the first one I first one is probably the hardest because you probably don't know that you can draw on this mural. You're actually supposed to draw the sun. Okay. So this is a heavy, this is heavily a puzzle game. Yeah, this is well, this is heavily a puzzle and combat actually. Mm -hmm. So like Legend, so yeah, like Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Like Undertale. <laughs> Oh, I've been this... trying to get Evan to play Undertale for the longest time. I own Undertale. I don't. Uh, I've, it feels clunky, and I don't really like it a lot. How far in are you? Um, I've reached. Uh, I've reached. What's her face? I forgot her face. Fish sticks girl. Okay, yeah. play like another half hour past that. Do I have You'll to? Like it better. Yes. I don't want to. Well, are you you're doing gonna. Jump? Are you being pa Are you uh, being uh, pacifist? Paf doing the. You Pacifist. Call? You don't have a choice or in the, the genocide route. You don't have a choice in the first run. Yeah, you do. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought you can get like the, I thought you can get the normal ending on your first run. Then you have to do pacifist well, or genocide. You can get the normal ending, but you you have to be basically how you get to the normal ending in your first run, whether you do it pacifist or genocide or um neutral, affects how easy it will be for you to get the true pacifist ending after that. Ugh, I hate that so much. I think hey, it's really cleverly that, done. You think that's bad? I personally hate what happens if you get the bad ending. Oh, I no, hate that so much. Oh my gosh, no, neither of you gets it. Until you've played the game, you can't even say that. Ugh. I don't need to. That's bad design right that there. That is not bad. Okay, Josh, I want everybody who watches this video to start sending letters to your house telling you how wrong you are. Uh, okay, uh, Gamer of Glory, Joshua Chan, Sleepy Bear, P.O. Box, uh, Hannah Valley, uh, Dark and Dreary... M1S, uh, <laughs> yada yada yada, the end. <laughs> anyway, uh, back into the game. Uh, Susano, Susano thinks that the Sleepy Bear is an invader. God. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, anyway, another quick time sequence right here. His blade thirsts for battle. Yeah, but. Susano stops. Ugh. <laughs> How do people cut things with a wooden sword? Does that wooden sword have a leaf growing out of it? Yeah, it does. It, it it looks it looks jarring as hell. And I like how the screen darkens just from. Expl <laughs> Aww. And he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> um, I don't know if the sleeping bear is a reference to any. Ch uh, Chinese or Japanese uh, mythology, but I just think I I remember the leaf on the head represents like a raccoon because the rac I don't know <laughs> you killed a freaking bear. I think it's just asleep. Yeah, it, it's always asleep. <laughs> it took you long enough to notice. Rest in peace, foul beast. The great warrior Suzano condemns the offense, not the offender. Even though I, I quote unquote killed you. Huh, there goes his hiding place. And, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, that uh, bear was sleeping on a MacGuffin. So, yeah. And the... Do. I just noticed that the lamps just appeared right over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's well, the... Maybe that's why it went dark. Okay, so here's the worst part about Okami. The ball physics suck. Oh, I was gonna wonderful. say that doesn't look like how This is like the this is like the easiest part, but you see me jittering all around trying to get this freaking ball all the way in this all the way in the pedestal right over Still there. Still not as bad as what happens in Sonic 06. Well no, it's a, it, it's I not even hated that billiard puzzle with silver. Well that's the thing, you're dealing well yeah, of course, but this is like an all different one. Why does a god like you have to basically play mini golf? Oh, I rather I rather play mini golf than this. Cause it's no the, use. Because <laughs> there are worse ones, alright? Alright, so this ball is finally going up, I guess. 
And now you're starting to see a little bit of a similarity. Remember this part? Mm -hmm. And then down here, mm -hmm. and then down here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting sick of this. We already seen this. So why are you showing this now? <laughs> really? That's what tipped you off? Not that it's glowing? I bet we'll spray over here with magic or something. Oh, I forgot. Magic doesn't exist. Only God. So here's how the puzzle works. The light shines down. Look at that 2D sign. <laughs> I'm convinced that's just a sticker we threw in the sky. Well, I mean, Ancient God laser beams. When you look at the sun in real life, which you should never do, by the way, kids, it doesn't look 3D like... It's not you supposed tell to tell whether red. something is 3D based on shade, but when the sun is the source of light, like it's just blinding light, it looks flat. Well, yeah, and it's also red too. I should mention that. <laughs> In game, yeah. What the? Who turned out the lights? Yeah, we got another constellation because Ooh. god dang it, we need another one. So what's this one? This one is well, you'll see. I do like this one actually. So, you fill in the two stars. It's more stars the more farther you go, so no worries. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like a blade and not, and, you know, a weird banana. And welcome, and meet the monkey. So, I'm gonna say this right now. These are a trifecta of the Hanagami gods. Okay. This is Sakigami, which is a reference to the Sakura flower. Um, Sakigami plays a Japanese instrument that resembles a flute. And in this in this in this part it looks like a tree. <laughs> so this is Sakagami will give you one of the flora moves, which is basically uh, I forget what it's called, but it's been a while since I recorded this, by the way. <laughs> so you learn a move called Green Sprout. Basically, draw a circle over like a withered tree or something, and it'll bloom. It's really useful, and that's how you can uh, that's how you can quote unquote get all. That's how you can quote unquote save all the guardian saplings. Blah blah blah, Isun. Okay. You know, Hana. You know, Sakigami should have said. Sakigami should have told us the instructions. Hmm. So draw a circle, and you basically evolve, Basically, change the, make the thing bloom. I guess. By the way, here's the power of art direction, and it looks pretty as hell. Oh, it looks so much more better than the dark, dreary one. Now, let me preface this by saying I don't use street drugs, but I know somebody who was talking to me about Studio Ghibli movies once. This person was like, Oh yeah, I watched Spirited Away once this one time while I was really high on shrooms, and because the animation is so pretty, it was like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm looking at this game, and I'm thinking this might be a similar experience, watching that <laughs> all those flowers just blossoming forth. Oh yeah. Like it, it would just break your brain. Yeah, it's one of the it's one of the game's strong points. Evan, you've been break silent for like brain. Yeah, Evan, you've been and silent for like it. five minutes, so mm -hmm. I was worried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we might be more So yeah, you have to backtrack now. And yeah, you soon we know. This is how we can revive the Guardian Sapling back in the main area. Leap before, before you, you think. Leap right? before you think. Also, raspberries are bad for you. <laughs> Where'd that come from? And also, uh, yeah, that's about it. I, that's all I got. I'm just here to annoy you some more. Also, remember uh, where our forced fights are? Yeah. Yeah. We have to do it again. Fun. Oh, nice. And I made them explode <laughs> off screen. So There's yeah. Little beaver. Those, whatever's. I think those are hogs, but I can't be too sure. They they boars. look like they have fur on them. Yeah, yeah. they look like boars. Yeah, they're boars. So anyway, I'm using my praise to basically char supercharge my ink pots as fast as I can because I like ink pots. They're really nice. They're just an endless source of offense because I can dodge everything. Mm -hmm. So anyway, these cursed trees are still up. We won't see these guys until much later, by the way. So, but since we have green sprout, we can e easily kill them by knocking their fruit back. I wonder what their fruit tastes like. Evil? Okay. Evil incarnate? Evil! So, just like a durian. Mm. <laughs> okay, so here's another usage for green sprout. Oh, uh, jo hey, Josh. Yeah? The fruit. The fruits are lemons. <laughs> okay. Oh, no shit. Every villain <laughs> is lemons. lemons. 
Also known as evil. <laughs> so here's another usage for, usage for green sprout. Now you can draw on the floor and it'll sprout flowers. Which is pretty Ooh. cool, actually. Why couldn't we draw on the floor? Why, why are you drawing weird, like, snowman bacon flower shapes? <laughs> <laughs> because it'll make flowers. Snowman bacon. Because it'll make the world explode into flowers. Anyway, uh, we got a scroll here. This is, well, you're going to encounter scrolls over time. It'll inf it'll give you, like, secret tech secrets about your techniques or... Tips and advice. Tips and advice or plot points. Like, right over here. I believe this one... You notice that there is an orange ponkel right over here. Mm -hmm. Right over here. <clears throat> so, yeah. This is this guy will be important later. So, they're just telling you stuff you already know. <coughs> uh, remind me, why did I leave in all this exposition? I mean... It's interesting. Just... Not to us. <laughs> yeah, I just realized that. Hmm. I'm just showing off. I'm just trying my best to show off everything, I guess. Anyway, I need, I need some root beer. You guys want root beer? Here. I got some. Pour, I'm gonna pour you some more. I'm gonna go get some beer beer. <laughs> Ugh, come on. I'll be right back, viewers. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. So, we're without Haley. Should we talk about- should we talk behind her back? <laughs> and, she's gonna, and she's gonna see this when it's posted too. Oh, so. uh, that's true. Um, anyway, uh, another thing that you can do is basically, you see these, you see these green halos. You can basically, you can basically dig, and they'll pop out clovers, make them bloom, and ah, uh, sorry, technical difficulties. Technical's not really the word. Yeah, we're just being stupid. Alright, so yeah, uh, basically, see those, the, you uncover the clovers, and you make them sprout. Oh my gosh, clovers sprouting? This is the most exciting thing ever, what I miss? Uh, a lot of things, actually. Now we make them bloom. Yeah, we were just talking about tonight's winning numbers. I gotta say, I don't see a lot of Let's Plays where the people doing the Let's Play just go up and get beer in the middle of recording. I wonder if that can be your new shtick. <laughs> Every time you get a new beer. And because you guys don't drink, what, I gonna... guess the responsibility has to fall on me. What so, a burden. So you're making a... Th so what, are you going to make a theme song for when Haley does that from now on or something? Just, I don't know. Your music will just improvise something right now. The Haley also, gets up and gets a beer theme song. Anyway, beer party right over here. Let's interrupt them. Oh. And they're dead. <laughs> that nice was touch. fast. Yeah, it was an explosion of nature, as they call it. That's right. Who Give me calls a... it that? I don't know. I call it that because it explodes with nature, with awesome, with no explosion sounds. But hey, I, I'll edit my own in. All right. <laughs> we could just sit here and make our own exploding noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we can insert What's that? exploding implosion sounds. Exploding What's that? implosion. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That's what Susano does in his trading grounds. Practices exploding implosion sounds. Yes. <laughs> anyway, monkeys! Let's feed them. Yeah, let's not feed them anymore. And then it evolves into Donkey Kong and challenges you to a boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we got over this! Does Susano ever challenge you to a boxing match? Um, no. He'll oh. challenge you to sword fights, though. And, of course, he gets his ass kicked. Time for digging! Ugh, okay, so digging, I've already explained this, but basically, you see a green halo, you dig, get a clover, and you bloom it, you get praise. Yay. Um, there are a ton of these things, because they don't always hold clovers, they also hold treasure chests and, uh, uh, stray beads. But I already know where they are. Um, you don't have to wait for, wait for nighttime to uncover them, so just, just saying. Yay, clover. I'm pretty sure these existed back then. Uh huh. So they're secretly Irish. They're all four leaf. What's up with that? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> we are technically traveling all around Japan, so anyway, by blooming all the trees, I guess uh, you get this little chest right here. Uh, we all get it later. Do these places in Japan have analogous places in real life? Because um, if so, I imagine you could make a lot of money running a tour. 
based on the game. You could technically do this, because this is technically like, uh, not, not Tokyo, like, this is around, like, Sagamahara, and this is south, basically. <laughs> anyway, right over here, we find the chest, we get a sun fragment. This is our other heart, this is our other heart piece collectible, that's about it. And yeah, that's part four. Are you guys bored yet? Nope. I haven't that man. <laughs> <laughs> that was your cue. Come on. You're supposed to be bored. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see you guys in the next part of Okami HD. It's Game of Glory. I shall return. Haley, Evan, say bye. Bye. Later.